from Washington State, Oklahoma Republican Tom Cole. Gentlemen, good to see both of you today. I appreciate you being here. Good to see you. Good to be here. All right, so let me begin with you, uh, Congressman Cole. When we're talking about how to cut, if you're if you're looking at raising the debt ceiling and pairing it with major cuts here, the president is expected to come out and say one of the areas we need to cut has been a sacred cow for a long time, and that's defense. At this point, is that something that you're willing to see have a hard look at? Oh, I think definitely it needs a hard look. Frankly, in H.R. 1, Republicans actually cut defense by $15 billion below what the president had requested for 011. So I think each side understands that everything needs to be on the table, and that includes defense. However, I think, uh, you know, the president's going to have to look at some of his sacred cows as well. Well, as I said, he uh, he's expected to come out and take a look at uh, Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, those kinds of things that have practically been off limits in the in the past few years. When we're looking at defense spending, though, there have been t opportunities. The Pentagon's come forward and said, for instance, hey, listen, all these new fighter jets, we don't need them. We're not going to use them. It's not the way we fight wars anymore. And Republican congressmen have pushed back and said, uh, uh, those are made in my district. They provide jobs. We're not cutting those. Well, I, actually, I disagree. It was Republican congressmen working, frankly, with Democratic congressmen to cut out the alternative engine, the second jet engine for the Joint Strike Fighter. And I think you'll find, particularly this uh, new freshman class, is much more focused on debt and fiscal responsibility than anything else. Uh, so, uh, again, I think uh, defense will get a hard look. That's not where the real money is. The real money, though, is going to be in entitlement spending and other parts of the budget. Those are the ones that have been growing by far faster than defense and represent a much larger percentage percentage of the GNP than defense does. Especially when we look at our aging population, as the population grows older, we're using more and more health resources. Uh, Congressman McDermott, you're a doctor, you're active in health care reform. When the president um, comes out and is expected to address entitlement spending like Medicare and Medicaid, what's your big concern about cutting in those areas? Well, frankly, Contessa, it, you have to look at what he puts the knife to. Uh, you can make some cuts uh, which will be felt and some which are absolutely unacceptable. So you have to make a choice between some things. Uh, I think it's going to be a long, ugly battle. I don't think, however, it can be joined to the debt limit. You can't make those kinds of cuts, which are major policy cuts, in the midst of rushing through a debt crisis uh, elimination. We, we've got to do something by about the 15th of May, or maybe we have as long as the 8th of July. So we may be able to carry it a couple of months, but we can't make the kinds of policy decisions in Medicare and Medicaid and some of the other areas in the social programs that, that people want to do in, on the back of a galloping horse. You just can't do it. We have a graphic here that shows how the debt has increased from December of 2010 till now, and it is climbing and climbing. It seems to be the agreement on both sides of the aisle that we have to do something about our rising debt. The question is what? Congressman McDermott, do you think that there were any valuable lessons learned from this last round negotiating the 2011 budget that can be applied now to the, what's next, this difficult budget battle ahead? Well, I think the major thing that was learned was that if you attach big social changes to basically what is a budget, you are not going to get it through very easily. You're going to have a big fight. And I think that's why the debt limit has to be raised. There's no question we're going to raise the debt limit. So let's just do it, and then we'll have the big fight, which is going to be on the budget. Sometime between now and September 30th, we have to come up with a budget, which is going to have a lot of big policies in it. But I think that yeah. the debt limit should not be threatening the world economy or our own economy. Representative Cole, real brief here. Is there any question in your mind about raising the debt ceiling? Well, I just refer back to President Obama, who voted against raising the debt ceiling when he was in the United States Senate. He really doesn't have a strong uh, leg to stand on. Look, I think if we're going to raise it, it's going to have to be coupled with something that's significant. It can't be a signal that it's just going to be business as usual here on Capitol Hill. Congressman Cole, Congressman McDermott, thank you both for joining forces there, standing side by side for this conversation. Appreciate it. Thank you. My big question today. I'm